Control deck, that is tether all out. Roger, Atlanta going down. While we're here, can we zoom on that little sea cucumber? Look at that. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Oh my gosh. You can see whatever those organs are in there, those pink ones. Like little hot right dogs. Right time on the show. And there's a little sponge in the background. Running away. Oh, oh wow, what is that? Gosh. Do you know what that is without me going it's over there? It's a paragorgia with a bunch of associates in its branches. Okay. Ooh, let's get a nice wow. image of that. I'm sure that'll be really good. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, very beautiful. Uh, this is a pretty spectacular lo location. I think that's perfect. That looks beautiful. Yeah, it's you want, beautiful. You want I love laser it. Laser on Gabby. or laser off? Oh, laser off. Look at the shrimp in the back. Oh, oh yeah. Lasers off and lasers on. Yep. And the pneumatic her sinus is coming in. Oh, look, it's swimming. See? Oh. They swim really funny. Can you pan a little to the right, Gabby? Yes. That's amazing. These are Great. beautiful. It's so wonderful. Um, are you guys happy with this, or do you want to try another view? Well, I've happy. got a bunch of pictures. Okay. Is that what you want? Yep. That's okay. all I want. Go wide. Going wide. What do they eat? Oh, is there a oh, is that a Chonacops? Yeah. No, is it? It's a Chonacops. It's a Chonacops. Oh, oh my gosh. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> <laughs> Go for Zoom. Go on to Zoom. Megan, I am so jealous right now, but I love this. <laughs> Oh, I love them so much! They're just so cute. <laughs> gives me cuteness aggression. <laughs> I love how the little fins are the straddling between the cobbles. This one looks extra round. It's really fast. It looks like a balloon. Well, like, you know, they can yeah. kind of inflate their bodies a little bit. He's trying to look intimidating. Yeah. It's <laughs> not working. <laughs> He's still remembering that none of us called on him with our favorite organism. Yeah, that's right. Like five nights ago. He's just oh, like, there, there's a, a like... video online of me just saying to the world that this is my favorite. So. <laughs> There's some cool. Uh... It doesn't matter how many Chana Cups videos we post, they always do well. Oh, yeah. No, it's cute every time. Oh, there's a little jellyfish in there, too. And that rock next to it has some cool, like, Okay, quite go straight wide. lines with some wiggles. So He's we're not doing to... anything, so I just, I mean, we yeah. can sit here looking at it. We don't forever, even look at it for but... I mean, it's more of a, like, oh, we see it, we look at it, and then we're like, move on. Yeah, but it's huh? a really cute little critter. It is. Who's it? Who's it? There it is. <laughs> it's like the mountain goat. I think oh. it's blue too, but it looks like it might. Oh. He says that it gets blue too. <laughs> He okay. is so cute. These are my favorite fish. I will They're have my to. favorites too. <laughs> Why? Why? They look lovable. <laughs> lovable. <all>. No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> They're so chonky. That's what I like about them. Can we step one zero meters? I want to see him climb in the wall. <laughs> you just want to give it a hug. <laughs> 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 what are you eating? There's nothing around. Oh, cool. Look at the way it's using its its uh, fins there. It's deflating. Like fins. Apparently they have massive inflatable gill chambers that expand with the like expand the animal's body to body with seawater so they can like hold their breath. Huh. Look at the way it's it's holding its position yeah. in the fins. That's <laughs> It's so neat. He really does look like he's scaling the wall. Yeah, like that's a, really an interesting adaptation. He's <laughs> <Just> climbing up. <laughs> and here we go. Is he going to follow us? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, big fish, big fish, big oh, fish. Oh, boy. <laughs> Under the ledge there. Nice. Aha. Uh -huh. And I say it's got those barbels on the bottom. I think maybe a cuscule of some type. It's a pretty good size one there. I think it's an electric eel. <laughs> Is that possible? I don't know. It may have some photophores there on its face. You can see some little pits. So 
It's got some really interesting long spines on the top too. Very cool. Thank you for the close up. This is a morid. A it morid. is a morid. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. What's a morid? Uh, it's a type of fish. Uh, I can't remember. Oh. It's a common name. Hake, I think, is the common name. Hake. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I think this one's Lepidion. Ah. Thanks for chiming in, Megan. Anytime. That was a nice big fish. What are we looking at, Megan? It's a dike rock. Yeah. She knows everything. Starting to get her geological IDs too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I, I'm teaching everybody about their biological IDs. I should learn my geological ones, right? So, Chris, the thing that I love, the geology that I love the most. Yes. I love columnar basalts. They're my favorite thing. Well, this is a pretty close thing, right? In terms of a fix. Yeah. Is, can you see, this like, is pretty wild? It's so smooth and slappy. <laughs> yeah. So we're not in an area where I could ever see something like columnar basalts, correct? Uh, I haven't seen anything sure. that looked yeah. like it. No. Yeah. They have to cool really slow, right? Mm-hmm. And everything here cooled super fast right at the surface. Yep. Can you see where your lasers are? Can you see how like there's like an inner lining to yeah. this kind of gully? And then the bit, so the bit where your right laser is now, that would have been the gooeyest stuff that lasted longest. But that little thin lining inside the thicker lining, the things like this little bit down yeah. here, that stuff. So those would have been the outsides of something that came up here, was inside, so this would have been all solid, and that was already solid. And then that's the chilled margin, just that little thin lining, and the same around here. That was where the goo from, well, that would be where the crust from one Oreo shoved inside the goo from the one before. Oh my gosh. Looks delicious. So it was like, it was a rock, <laughs> it was a rock that was like a soft centered rock, and then more magma came up and squeezed the two slabs on either side apart, and that's how you end up with those, like, the little thin slabs as well. Those thin slabs are kind of like the equivalent of the outside of a pillow basalt. I'm trying it's to get a chilled uh, budget if you a actually... big, a bigger view of what's happening here, because it's pretty wild. Yeah, yeah, no, this is a really interesting feature. Oreo cookie mm -hmm. inside another Oreo cookie. And now it you like to gently relocate the front of the porch so that the nozzle is right over the fluffy stuff? That would be great, right over that pale area where okay, we... Okay, um, move the arm up a little so bit so there's to, to push kind sure. of there. It's hard to be sure whether it's just a sort of bacterial origin from uh, microbial activity in the, uh, in the sediment that was stirred up while we were sampling compared to one that was actual venting fluid. So I think it will be a... Yeah, see how IGT data compares to the methane yeah. signal that we detected. Traditionally what one finds here is a lot of magmatic CO2 coming out and that's entirely consistent with what Mary's been seeing in the SAGE sensors and the gases it's the same kind of thing people have reported from um, the seamounts around Hawaii as well that come out who are kind of lower seamount although there you don't see the free gas bubbling out. I think we're sort of approaching a stable value with SAGE. So the peak was 375 but I think that might have been from inside the rock basically and not necessarily the same as where we are right now and where we are right now is settling out about 350. I know much though I love the drinking birds I also really want to see if there's a new vent. Yeah it's in this crack here I think can you see there's a little crack in the rocks and a hollow? Oh you got shimmer. Some... Yeah there's shimmer all right let's set back down there please <laughs> yeah. sorry. That's okay. We ain't That's going nowhere. Fluid flow I was hoping for. Yeah, yeah, it is amazing that you saw that. Well, he is the vent list. Yeah, I know. look at that no. tiny little crack in the upper that he saw. Barry spotted it too. But <laughs> that is definitely a whispering vent, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, could that. Or a whipsering. 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 The whipsy vent. Well, there you go, Chris. That was your hypothesis that you were well, thinking. Well, we made it 10 feet. Emission <laughs> from the outside of the cone. Yeah. That's got some nice lighting. You can see the Schlieren effect across the pale yellow to the left now. And a little bit of pink coral as well, just for aesthetics. Yeah. We are measuring, so there's a CO2 and methane ones, both on that hinged thing mm -hmm. called the drinking bird. So this will be a combined CO2 and methane sample for this location. So one thing that could be really useful would be if you could just put the temperature probe nose ended, ah. just so we get that value too. It'll mm -hmm. probably be five or something. There are going to be people with diffuse flow ESP all around the planet waking up going, I feel like somebody's looking at something <laughs> cool somewhere on the planet. <laughs> I'd better go to Nautilus Light. 
It's like pilot nav duality. <laughs> Never mind wave and particle. Megan, do you ever wish the rest of us weren't here and you could just <laughs> just be just in charge of the show? Yeah. <laughs> totally, yeah. We wouldn't be wasting all this time at the vents. We'd be all looking at biology. Yeah, totally, like, looking at all these. <laughs> like, you can zoom on this trip. Time for some biology. So, navigator, let's get ourselves making a, a bold attempt on the summit at waypoint 8G. Yeah, I was making moves 157. Look at that pneumatic our sinus. It's a good one. And there's a squiggly fish coming past. It's got a really short rostrum. Yeah. Look at that tiny rostrum. Mm -hmm. It's a tiny rostrum. It's not the size of the rostrum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it it's like, be, yeah. That's what we're talking about. Well, I mean, yeah. it just things to say about what species it is. Ah. Uh, yeah. Do I know what that is? Not off the top of my head. It's a Kardashian. Okay, we can zoom out. Okay, zoom it out. It's very cute. You got it out of your system. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, there's the... Oh, oh that's like that... one of those baby Chonux. Oh, oh, our favorite! Yeah. <laughs> Not our favorite! Yes, our favorite! <laughs> yeah. Cute. Aww. He's just a baby. Are you ready to adopt him? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a different species, but it is Chonux, pretty sure. Maybe it is a baby. We've seen the large ones around. Mm. Oh, What's so it? Yeah, it is small. If you look at the, the yeah, green it's dots. Like, it's like five centimeters long. Yeah. I think it's ready to attack. Thumb sized fish. I like that little scaly thing. Oh, this is a bigger anemone. This is kind of vast. Yeah. Cinema can't even see. Oh, so small. Oh. I love being ugly. <laughs> it's cute. There's lots of life here. It's just little. Everything's little. Hmm, push ones. Oh, and, uh, is that yeah. another of the batfish? I don't know. Is that something else? It's very flat. Oh, is that like a, a flounder type fish? Oh, I think you're right. Yeah. Or not. No, it's no, a no. skate. No? No. No, it looks a lot like the yeah. last one we were just uh, looking at. But yeah, well, that's like a chunk kind of pattern. Yeah. It's an anglerfish. Anglerfish. According to the. Yeah. Does it have a little lure? Yeah, the danglerfish has the lures. Some of them do, yeah. Maybe it's retracted. Maybe you've got its fishing pole. Monkfish. Right, huh? Monkfish. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see the lure. Oh, there yeah. Is. Yep, yep, yep. What? Oh, I see it's it. It's def definitely, I, I see it. So tiny. It really is. Can we get the lasers on? Eight centimeters. It's just about a nine centimeters long. I wonder yeah, if Val is awake. Pull back out. Able to appreciate all the fish. Probably not yet. We'll tell her about. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's. It looks like it's clean. So it's got like eight legs, two arms, two nostrils, and a, what do you want to call that last thing? My proboscis? gosh. <laughs> yes, yeah, a proboscis. Antenna. Crazy. The center thing is a proboscis, and then. Oh my gosh! It is being devious. It is like it literally just. Uh, Twisted its mustache. Twisted that mustache. was so snidely whiplash. <laughs> 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 